Welcome to Brindiamo. Today's special edition of Florida. We are in Fort Lauderdale and we're going to a fantastic Italian restaurant, Valentino, with our guest chef, Mauro Ugliassi. See you there. Ciao. Today's show is full of great contents and surprises. We are at Valentino Cucina Italiana in Fort Lauderdale to meet chef and owner Giovanni Rocchio and to cook with two Michelin star chef Mauro Uliassi. At night I bring you to an exclusive event hosted by Ursula Vella from Great Culinary Minds. I also had the pleasure to meet and chat with everyone's favorite Italian singer, Raff. So here I am in this beautiful kitchen at Ristorante Valentino in Florida and Fort Lauderdale with two Michelin star chef, Chef Mauro Oliassi. Yeah, from, from Senigallia, Italy. And look at how cool we are. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> okay, yes. adesso li possiamo yes. togliere. Yes. We are in Florida, The night Florida, was uh, very right? strong. <laughs> We drank a lot tonight. <laughs> so we are going to make uh, one great recipe directly from your restaurant in Sicilia. Yes, Italia. yes. The name of this uh, dish is uh, cuttlefish tagliatella with uh, fra quinoa and um, pesto of uh, seaweed nori and sesame. And everything is coming from Italy, starting from this beautiful yes, cuttlefish. Yes, Adriatic, Adriatic Sea, the salt of Cervia, the uh, olive, oil, olive, oil the olive oil from okay. the, the hills of, uh, of Marche, the lemon from Sicily. From Sicily? Yes. This is uh, quinoa. The quinoa, this quinoa okay. Uh, um, we, we boil before the quinoa mm -hmm. and then we dry it in the oven okay. and then we fry. Beautiful. And so in this way, you know, uh, become uh, okay, crunchy, crunchy. crunchy. So we are ready to assembling this uh, fabulous yes. dish, but I want to know how you make uh, this uh, great tagliatelle. Oh, okay. We, we cook the, yes. the tagliatelle under vacuum at 50 degrees for three hours. We wrap it with a cling film okay. and then we put it in the fridge yes. for um, two days. We season the cuttlefish, the cuttlefish with the lemon. Oil. Oil. Extra virgin of olive oil. Course. Yes. Salt from Cervia. Okay. We season it right away. And then we put the cuttlefish tagliatella. Right in the middle of the dish, yes. right? In uh, this pesto there is uh, seaweed nori with sesame. Nice intense so the green. Color is, uh, Beautiful color, yes. And uh, the we crunchy sprinkle. quinoa to give some quinoa, yes. Sound to the dish. Okay, so now we're ready to hey. eat, uh, giusto? Absolutely. And look, I have uh, two forks, one for me and one for I you. Use, uh, I use my... <laughs> Twitter. No, no, yes. Twitter. Twitter. Whatever it's Please. called. Okay. Forza, andiamo. Mm, you say moon? Mm. 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 <laughs> it's like an organ of palate. Mm. <laughs> So much to say about Chef Mauro Liassi. First of all, he's a fun, warm-hearted person and with no doubt a great chef. In fact, Chef Mauro is considered to be one of the top 10 chefs in Italy. Chef Uliassi opened the door to Uliassi restaurant on May 1990 and since then the restaurant has been a great success. The restaurant is located in a charming town by the sea called Senigallia in the region of Marche. With Mauro in the kitchen and his sister Kat in the dining room, the restaurant received many awards and many recognitions. Among all of them, the well-deserved two Michelin stars. I hope to visit very soon the Uliassi restaurant in Italy, but for now I'm enjoying very much cooking with Chef Mauro at Valentino's Kitchen in Fort Lauderdale. So we're back for our second recipe with Chef Mauro Liassi. We're still Always in Florida. Me. Yes. The wizard. The wizard. The wizard yes. of Oz. <laughs> yes. The okay. second dish. The second dish. The second dish is uh, an homage uh, 
beautiful yes, match. Yes, yeah, thank you. Uh, to north and south. Of and Italy, of course, uh, right? Yes, yes Italy. North, no, where because we are in America. Well, but, we are from. but where are we now? <laughs> yes. Okay, yes, yes. beautiful. Okay, the ingredients are the south, shrimps from Sicily. Beautiful. Winter melon from Sicily. Ta da! <laughs> lemon from Sicily. Pacchino tomatoes from Sicily. Baby basil. From, from Sicily. Sicily. Yes. So everything is from Sicily yes. here. <laughs> yes. Pistachios. Pistachios from Bronte. Sicily still. Yes. yes. Cardamomo no. Okay. From Where India. We go? India. India. So yes. you see, we are very it's ethnic. The, yes. the little the touch. touch. Yes. The north. The amazing, fantastic, marvelous Calvisius caviar. 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 Uh, white. Uh, white starch. starch. Yeah, Quite correct. Starch. Okay. Between my accent and his accent, uh, really, uh, really special. It's okay. <laughs> Are you open? Is it like a, okay. a beautiful Are you box ready? with the jewelry inside? Are you ready? Yes, yeah. I am. Wow, they are so beautiful. I think that is the best. Let me smell. Mm. Nah, lovely, lovely. The smell of the sea. Everything ready. Everything ready, so we can prepare the dish. Absolutely. Okay. Allora. So this is is a, a lemon juice with? Uh, yes, with uh, with agar agar. Okay. We have uh, another kind texture, of texture, a consistency. different texture. Yeah, yeah. Yes. We put in this way. Okay. Nice. Yes. Then we take uh, the winter the melon. The winter melon. Yes. Yes. In this way. And then Very the tomatoes. Geometric. Yes, it's um, with the Those are dry a lot, a lot tomatoes. of colors. So you like colors. And then we are in Florida after all. Yeah. Well, you come from a very colorful town as well, Senigallia, right? By the sea, a beautiful place. Is a, I think that Senigallia is the, the, the only place where I can develop my career. <laughs> okay. I love a lot uh, Senigallia. You love a lot. Yes. I love this baby basil. Baby basil, but intense with intense smell. Okay, and flavor. Fable, yes. Yes. Okay. Then what happened next? We now? put uh, some uh, oops, cardamom on top of uh, melon. Okay. In this way. Pistachios. Okay. And those are a nice and clean uh, shrimps. Shrimps, eh? red shrimps. I love shrimps. Raw yes. shrimps. They're raw, yes. And then... And then for the magical touch. The magical touch for the... The door. wizard. The wizard. <laughs> okay. And I see that you're very generous with the portion, yes. right? But I think that uh, caviar and... Um, truffle. Truffle. You see, if I you listen want, to If you want to uh, love uh, it, you have to, to try eat. Yeah. in the yeah. right yeah. way, not just a little shape no, no, or just no, no, a little no, no, no. things. So now we are actually going to Absolutely. try, right? Absolutely. 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 Allora, la forchetta per yes. te, una forchetta per me, e allora io uso questo. Yes. Perfect. How do we go to do? After chef? you, madame. Bravo. Ne sei più sciolto tu? Eh, Buon appetito, chef. Buon appetito. Mm. Mm. Che bontà. Mm. Mm. Delizioso. Mm. Grazie. <laughs> Between recipes, my hairstylist Fabio made sure that my hair looks good on camera. I also took a little break to greet my dear friend Gabriella and her husband Raffaele. Raffa today is my guest in this special edition of Brindiamo from Florida. So this is our last recipe to yes, the, our the last the but not wizard. The least. No, absolutely not. Mm. Anyway, we're going to make this uh, delicious minestra, una pasta. Yes, per yes. Minestra is a um, is a smoked uh, smoked soup potato mm -hmm. with the uh, pasta and fish. A classic delicious. dish of. Uh, of the South Italy, also yeah, this. this yeah, this is South, yeah. okay. okay. And uh, all these uh, ingredients, oh, we, we I have, love yeah. it. We have uh, potato cooked with yes. uh, water, leeks, leeks? Yeah. Okay. leeks, leeks and, uh, and uh, a smoked eel. Okay. To, um, to give uh, a favor of smoked. Absolutely, okay. yes. Then we, we whisk. Okay. With the mini pimer. To okay. do the, yes, yes. So to do the mash, the creamy effect. Okay. okay. Then we cook the, the, pasta. the pasta, lobster, okay. uh, squid, clam, 
muscle and parsley. And parsley, for, uh, just uh, yes. for the ending. The last Beautiful. Okay, okay, so we're going to assembling. Of yes. course, everything is already pre-cooked, meaning that you cooked yes. before. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. We put a little bed of yes. this cream of potatoes. Smoked potatoes. The smoked potatoes, okay. Then we put uh, the lobster. Lobster. And some squid. Squid. Potato. Okay, so this uh, you already boiled and salted, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so they're ready to be eaten. You have uh, some mussels here. Mussels. That the, how did you make the mussel? I uh, cooked it in, in a pan a with uh, just a bit of um, oil. Oh, okay. okay. Clams in the same way. Oh, okay. Pasta. And this pasta. I love the shape of this pasta. This is a uh, quadrata. A quadrata, la pasta quadrata. quadrata. At the end, we put parsley. Some parsley, okay. Okay, in this way. Nice, and nice color. And of course, uh, some extra virgin olive oil. Yes. Okay. And that was this other beautiful dish. Now, he said before, he said, Ornella, this is we're going to eat. Well, we ate everything, We, we have to eat, <laughs> because so, we, we are hungry. Che buono. <laughs> Grazie, bacio. Mm. Mm. See you later, ciao. Bye bye. While the chefs are getting ready for tonight's event, my crew and I went to the beach of Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale is a city in the state of Florida on the Atlantic coast. The city is a popular tourist destination. Thanks to the many canals, Fort Lauderdale is also known as the Venice of America. The city is a major yachting center with over 42,000 residents yacht and about 100 marinas. Fort Lauderdale has also a nickname, Fort Liquordale, thanks to the many bars, nightclubs and beaches. In spring break, Fort Lauderdale became the city for thousand college students all over America. Today, at the beach, we are meeting my special guest, Raf. Raffaele Riefoli, better known as Raff, is an Italian singer-songwriter born in a small town in the region of Apulia called Margherita di Savoia. Raff's career started at a very young age in London with a single that became an immediate hit, and not just in Italy and in Europe, but also here in America, Self Control. Self Control was released by American pop star Laura Branigan. My generation had the pleasure to grow up with some of the most romantic songs in the 80s. You may remember Due or Aria da Niente. Today, I have the pleasure to learn more about Raf and his life in America. So I'm here in this beautiful beach at Fort Lauderdale. I'm still in Florida with a special guest. We are talking about Raf. Hey, piacere uh, di piacere. nuovo. How are you? Not bad. Not bad. No. A kiss. We are Italian. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. So now we're talking about you and your beautiful career. You were born? In uh, Margherita di Savoia. Okay. A small town in in Puglia, okay. south of Italy. Of Italy. So how your career started? Started in 84, okay. when I was 22. Young, a little boy. <laughs> a little boy. When I was uh, four or five years old, uh -huh. I asked for drum, okay. guitar, yes. you know, everything. So you play an instrument as well? I play piano, keyboards, keyboards yeah. yes. piano and guitars. Okay. But if, uh, if you give me a drum, I can play drum too. Okay. If you give, give me an instrument. <laughs> give me I, anything, I'll yes, play. Yes. Okay. Just so, I, I have just 10 minutes, but you know. <laughs> Beautiful. So, and what was your biggest success? One of the, 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 interna in, the international success yeah. was a, a, called Self Control. I wrote uh -huh. this song, and then after this, um, I'm, you know, I, I said I'm Italian. I was, I want to try to, to, to write Italian songs. Yes, because you I were writing to... in English. Yeah. Which one is your favorite song? Oh, I don't have a. I love them all. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like when you have a, you know, you have, we have kids. Yes. You know, you. Yeah, you love all of them, of course. You understand what I mean? Yes. So did you um, think that? Uh, Florida with this beautiful sun, the palm, the sea, is inspiring you? You can be inspired by the, many by things. Many, yeah, by many things, and you can stay in the, in the desert or up on a mountain, 
because uh, the inspiration comes Come from, from your, inside, yours, yeah. yeah, from inside, from your fantasy, from your imagination. So, but for sure, I, I told you before, I, lo I love <laughs> you to stay love here. You love to yeah. be here. So what did you see in your future? I'm just uh, looking for um, happiness. That's a good, that's <laughs> a very good thing to look for, yes. Yeah, I look forward to everything for good things. Uh, and, I, and I hope the music um, stay with me for a long time. Beautiful. Are you going to sing for me something? I mean, how can I miss the opportunity to have you here at the beach and let you just go like that, please? Okay. With the sound of the ocean. Yes. You know, I told you about infinito. Yes. Right? Start like this. Little me at the destino vuole che io sia ancora qui a pensare a te e la mia mente flash ripetuti attimi vissuti con te. Che bello, ma che emozione! Grazie di nuovo! Presto, ciao! So we are here at Valentino. Let's see what's going on inside. Ciao! As I promised, here we are ready to experience a great night at Valentino Cucina Italiana. The restaurant looks great and the guests are just thrilled to be here and try some really tasty recipes prepared by the team of two Michelin star chef Mauro Liassi and the staff of Chef Rocchio. Now I'm getting ready to sit and chat with Chef Uliassi. So I'm here sitting very comfortable with our guest chef at Valentino Ristorante, Mauro Liassi. Come stai? I am fine. Though. Fine. <laughs> very very well, happy, yes, very yes, well. Yes. So you're here, you are two Michelin star chef. Yes. At a beautiful restaurant in Senigallia. Yes, Senigallia is a um, little town. In, in the, the region of Marche. Of Marche, yes. Very close to Ancona. I did uh, technical school. Technical school. Yes. But uh, this school was was not suitable for me. No, no. definitely not. Yes, not because um, because to find a girl was like finding a needle in ice tech. Okay. <laughs> Two thousand boys in your school, no yes, girls. No girls. That so wasn't good. When, when yeah. I went to go to catering school, it was it was like a party because eighty percent were uh, girls. Girls. Yes. Uh, and you like I that? Am, I am <laughs> very young with hormones <laughs> totally out of control. No, uh, I didn't want to be a professional um, professional chef. chef. Yes, not it, yet. No, it was a too hard job for me. Oh, really? Yeah, really, really. And I had the luck to teach in a catering school. Okay. But. But, there is a but. but, but yes. But in the summer of 83, uh -oh. I fell in love with uh, my wife, Chantal. And when she asked me to cook for uh, uh -huh. her bird, uh, <laughs> birthday party. Okay. And for her friends, I cooked with the greatest passion. <laughs> I cooked with. Uh, with your heart. My heart full yes, of love. Sir. And, uh, and for the first time, I discovered a wonderful it was to see the pleasure and happiness of others. The pleasure and happiness that I had given. That's beautiful. Yeah. So in 1994, the first the Michelin... The first time, yes, and, then and the, the second, second in uh, 2008. How did you get to your second? Because a lot, not a lot of people have the first, but the second, it's second very, Second is very another, yes. Second another is world. Another uh, world because uh, you, you have to, to change your mind, uh, you have to... To, it's to very study. challenging, right? And also you have to prove all the time that you yeah, deserve yeah, yeah, those yes, stars. Yes, yes. Now, tell me, what is your experience here in Florida? I mean, it's funny because, you know, I like to go visiting Italian chef in Italy, but now I come from New York to Florida to visit you. Yes, That's uh, great. It's first time for me in Florida, uh, and it's amazing. It's a wonderful, uh, wonderful uh, uh, region. So what is your future? What do you think is going to happen? I don't know, I am totally, totally okay, immersion yeah. in my reality present. in the present that I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't imagine my tomorrow. Tomorrow I love is it. tomorrow. So tomorrow is another day. Yeah. Fantastico, grazie. Ci vediamo dopo, ciao. Thank you so much. To learn more about the philosophy behind the great culinary minds, I'm meeting with the creator and founder Ursula Vella. Ursula, with charm and knowledge, tells me more about her upcoming project. 
saw the party is starting, but I couldn't miss the opportunity to talk with the great host of a great culinary mind, Ursula Avella. Ciao, bella. Ciao, Nella. <laughs> come stai? Bene, tu come stai? Bene. I love your idea. How did you come up with this great idea of a great culinary mind? Well, it's a long story. Do we have time? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. Well, Start. the idea came to me a couple of years ago, okay. and it started with a Facebook group of all things. Okay. Yes. Um, over the past 20 years, I noticed there is a growing and unfortunate misrepresentation of Italian culinary culture, food and wine culture, and misconception. And what I mean is misrepresentation on the part of food operators, misconception on the part of the consumer. I honestly don't think it's fair to reduce everything down to one size fits all Absolutely. Italian cuisine because <laughs> right because there are so many differences our culinary culture is based upon respect for the products to begin with and so every region every province every family even has its own traditions its, its own culinary trends if you will what we need to do is create awareness here in the United States expose the richness of our culture our culinary culture expose the richness of our uh, resources absolutely what I started doing is pretty much bringing the key players from Italy I mean there's a huge um, a huge movement in Italy so to speak the beautiful thing that's going on in Italy right now is that all these great chefs are using traditions as their building block to create their own culinary trends we're looking at a very uh, very very busy calendar for yes. 2014 alone we have several chefs we're bringing Michelin stars or not, or not. So just it the doesn't matter chefs. just the great chefs that are doing all this exactly yes. Yes. And, uh, there is anybody also behind all this wonderful work that you are doing yeah. oh absolutely yes I hold the position at Cola Vita USA as a uh, sales and marketing manager and I have the privilege of working for one of the most wonderful men I've ever met in my entire life his name is John Profaci he is not only the founder of Cola Vita USA and the pioneer of olive oil Absolutely. in the United States. He brought <laughs> olive oil into the United States in the early 70s when really there was very little knowledge about very extra virgin little. olive oil. He's also the uh, founder, as you very well know, of the yes, Cola Vita yes. Culinary Cultural Center, Center we did inside the CIA. Show, yes, you did, yeah. show there, and he's a wonderful person with he a big really heart. Is. What's going on tonight? This is well, tonight big we event. have Chef Uliassi from Italy, two Michelin stars, he is one of the greatest chefs, of course, that Italy has and ever seen. And a human seen. being. He's not just a great chef. Absolutely, he's yes. He's a fantastic human yes. being. I mean, I've been working for 10 years with Brindiamo, and I have, uh, you know, really, I'm lucky to meet a wonderful people. He he's a wonderful really special. man. He really he's is. really special. Yes, he is. And so we're going to drink, we're going to eat, we're going to have a great time. So the next one, they have to come, oh, wherever I'm... you are. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Grazie. Grazie a te, Ornella. Brindiamo. Ciao. So now I'm here in the kitchen in the kingdom of our chef and owner at Valentino, Chef Giovanni Rocchia. Come stai? Bene, grazie. Bene, Buonasera, bene. benvenuto Buonasera. a Valentino. Grazie, grazie, che bella accoglienza. I know we are starting soon the show with Chef Uliassi, but I need to know something about you. We've been here all day yes. and I saw you working and you know, take care of everything. But please, Giovanni, when did you open Valentino? Valentino's we opened uh, about eight years ago. Okay. So uh, uh, the name Valentino's from my father, okay. who started the original Valentino's in uh, New York. Fantastic. Forty years ago. Yeah. So wow. as a so little child. So you are a restaurateur's yes. son. Since, yes. yes. So the passion was born because of your your father. Oh, yes, so and I had that. no choice. Yeah. You had no choice. no choice, I like so, that. So your father yeah. said, okay, that's what you're that's going to do. That's what I'm going to do, you're going to okay. help me out. Okay, so Valentino, four years in uh, New York, four years ago, yes. opened, and now you're here in charge with your mother, because I saw your mom around. Well, you know, the Italian mothers are always, always the, uh, the boss. So. And your family is from the regions of Abruzzo, correct? Abruzzo and Campania, mio and papà. Campania, okay. Yes. How did you create this restaurant? Why? So, well, you know, tell me. Yes, having eaten in Italy uh, uh, many times, I wanted to try and bring that cuisine to the American people that believe uh, Italian food is only spaghetti and meatballs and chicken wrong, parmigiana. Wrong, Yes, yeah. wrong, that's not it. <laughs> so we so started... So you bring a uh, modern cuisine. Yes. Yeah. The vera cucina italiana. Bravo, we infatti tried si to. chiama Valentino Cucina Italiana, italiana sì. giusto? And you succeed. So what is the success of Valentino? You, of course, your mother, 
your experience, yes. uh, the charm. Yes, uh, it starts from uh, from the food to the service to the ambiance, and just the passion and a desire to entertain people. Yeah. So I let you go because I know everybody is uh, looking for the new right. start of the day. Grazie, Grazie Giovanni. Thank you so much. Ci vediamo. Ci vediamo a Polara. Grazie. Sì. Ciao. Ciao. Today's show was such a joy. I spent some really fun days in Florida where I met new friends such as Ursula Vella, a woman that with big passion promotes our culinary traditions. I met a wonderful chef and more important, a wonderful person. With Chef Uliassi, we did not just prepare great dishes, we also had a lot of fun. Giovanni Rocchio was a perfect host, making sure everything looks always good. To conclude the in dolcezza di bellezza, I had the pleasure to meet an old and beautiful friend of mine, Gabriella Labate. And I walked by the sea with a great singer, Raf. His song made my generation dream of the perfect love. Thank you, Raf. I'm sure you enjoyed this great episode of Brindiamo Special Edition Florida. We are in Fort Lauderdale and we cooked great dishes with our master chef Mauro Uliassi. See you next time for another great episode. Ciao! And guest chef Mauri. Ah. Brudolona. <laughs> Riccardo Muti oh, in the kitchen. Uh, how do you like that? <laughs> well, so today, exactly. Bia, bia.